Hi everyone, my name is Tammy. For those of you visiting the channel for the first time, welcome. For those of you coming back, welcome back. Today is the day that many of you told me you were anxious for. Today we're kicking off the Heaven and Earth Design Series. So I'm going to rotate the camera down uh, to start because this is more about the artwork today. We're focusing on the art. So let's kick this off right. For those of you that are newer to diamond painting and may not be familiar with the Heaven and Earth Designs, um, I will be kicking off this series with a high level overview of the Heaven and Earth Designs website, their products, and I'll be doing a very high level overview of the traditional process used to convert their, their designs to a diamond painting. Heaven and Earth Designs has some gorgeous artwork and to convert their designs typically is done over the course of several months, up to a year or more. Um, so they're very time consuming projects, but the artwork can be amazing. And for many, it's worth the effort involved. Um, as I mentioned in my welcome to my channel video, I have developed a new process for converting heaven earth designs, cross stitched patterns to diamond paintings. And using my new process, I've been able to complete three beautiful designs in a lot less time and for a lower cost. And it was, it was so much more in, of an enjoyable process than using the traditional conversion process, which involves using a blank canvas. Um, here I'm gonna show you the three Heaven Earth Design conversions to diamond paintings that I have completed over a six month period of time from mid-February to the end of August. I completed this design called Dreaming of Being Human, by Dakota Dotweiler. I love that it's a mermaid. Uh, her red hair is absolutely gorgeous. I love her hair. And I love the lionfish and the yellow tang and her outstretched arm with the chain on the arm um, and the light coming from behind. It's, it's a gorgeous piece. I was so excited to get to do it. And it's uh, 81 centimeters by 65 centimeters. I completed this Heaven Earth Design conversion in seven weeks from start to finish. I know, seven weeks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you another one. We gotta kick this off All right, guys. Okay. I completed this design. It's called um, Off to See the Wizard. It's by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. There's a couple diamonds missing. I need to replace those, but um, it, it was, uh, it, it's, uh, I did this for the Crafting with Shea uh, Wizard of Oz or Oz event in August is what it's called. And it was on an Instagram event. It's an all female imagining of the Wizard of Oz characters. The size is 72 by 57 centimeters and I completed it in 22 days. Okay, last but not least, I completed this design called Purple Dragon by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It is a 47 by 44 centimeter design and I completed it in 11 days. Okay, now these two designs, the first two designs I showed you, these are square drill designs. Okay, so that's a square drill design. This is a square drill design. This is not a square drill design. This is done with round drills. Yes, you heard me right, round drills. Um, and it is a heaven and earth design. I did this as a test. I've come up with a process that will allow you to do a round drill heaven and earth design conversion of diamond painting and not on, a, not on a white canvas either. So for all you people that only like to do round drill diamond paintings, I have a solution for you as well. <laughs> So that's three Heaven Earth Design paintings completed in six months. Let me bring them back. I've got to show you the beautiful and put the beautiful one back on top. Ooh, I never can get over this one. This one's my favorite. Um, I completed three of these in six months. And for those of you who have taken on one of these Heaven Earth Design projects, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree that doing three Heaven Earth Design projects in six months seems like a bit insane. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. But I'm going to show you how to do one of these projects in a much shorter period of time than they have typically been done in the past. And as I mentioned before, um, I'm not a particularly fast diamond painter like Katie and with Diamonds and Washi is. That girl flies through diamond paintings. <laughs> and I only average about one and a half hours a day of diamond painting, if that. And I do a bit more on the weekends and a bit less during the weekdays. Um, and just so you know, during that six month period of time, uh, in between doing these Heaven Earth Design projects, I actually completed four diamond paintings that were a typical 50 by 70 size or so centimeters in size and six other small projects in that six month time period. So it wasn't just doing those Heaven Earth Designs. 
Um, I'll discuss as, as I go along, um, I'll discuss the journey I went on to find the new approach to convert the designs, including what I tried, what worked, what didn't work. <laughs> and then next I'll, I'll, I'll give you a high level overview of what I'm using to convert the designs. I'll show you the basics of what you will need to complete the process, including what you need to purchase and the typical cost involved. Then I'll walk through uh, from beginning to end showing you the exact process I'm using to complete these conversions uh, for a square drill diamond painting. I've already picked out the design I'm going to work on during this video series, and I will show you step by step as I actually convert and complete a design using the new process I developed. I think the entire series will, will probably take several videos to show you in detail exactly how to do it, because I'm going to show you all the way from uh, from buying the design to uh, the drills, uh, you know, what your canvas is, um, to completing the design, any challenges you might have along the way, etc. I'm going to work through all those with you. So that's why I'm calling it a Heaven Earth Design Series. Then later, I'm going to cut out some companion videos to that, showing you how you can build on this process so you can actually do a round drill Heaven Earth Design Conversion. And I will even have a video showing you how you can bound off this process to do a completely custom diamond painting and other off canvas type projects as well. So I'm extremely excited to get started with the series. So let's get to work by starting with this Heaven Earth Design website overview. Okay guys, now I'm going to show you the Heaven Earth Design website on my laptop and on my Android phone. Um, to access it on the website, uh, we're going to type Heaven and Earth Designs. And then I'm going to choose it from the heavenandearthdesigns.com. Okay, so now I have that up. And I'm going to do it on my phone too. And the reason I'm going to do it on my phone is to show you the difference in the size of um, uh, how it looks on each display. So I'm going to type Heaven. Okay, there we go. Heavenandearthdesigns.com. Okay, so now I have it on both devices. Okay, so um, first thing uh, we want to talk about is understanding on the Heaven Earth Designs uh, site. What the site's basically for is to be able to um, access patterns. Um, normally what this site sells and how the site got started, originally the site was started for cross stitchers um, and they have all kinds of patterns for cross stitchers. Um, to be able to do their designs. Of course, cross stitchers um, use the patterns to stitch a design on a piece of cross stitch fabric. But the great coincidence for us is that as diamond painters, we can use these designs too to do diamond paintings. They just come out bigger than the designs uh, that the cross stitchers do because each stitch that they do is a diamond for us. And the width of a diamond drill is generally wider um, than a single cross stitch. So when we use these designs we do to do diamond painting, the finished size of our diamond painting is often much larger. So for example, if it says 25 count fabric, it'll be 2.5, two and a half times larger as a diamond painting because of the size of diamonds versus the size of the fabric uh, per inch. So um, keep that in mind as we're looking at designs is that generally when they're all cross stitch designs is how the, how the site was developed and um, diamond painting designs are just a lot bigger so when you see sizes at times I'll have to show you how to convert it and we'll um, I'll help you understand how that works okay so first thing I wanted to mention before we actually go into the site and look at things is that um, it's very common for artwork to be used in diamond paintings um, that is stolen um, and used without the artist's permission and the artist is not then compensated for their work. So I love the fact that I know when I buy designs off Heaven and Earth Design site that the designs have been licensed through the artist. The artist is given the permission to use the designs and they are being fairly compensated for their, the use of their designs. Uh, personally, it's very important to me that um, uh, that we support artists and their beautiful work because without supporting them, we no longer will have beautiful work. So it's important in, uh, in the diamond painting uh, community that we do the best we can to support artists um, by buying licensed work as much as possible. Um, so I would like to support that effort and uh, this site is one great way you can um, support artists uh, and uh, 
at the same time get a, a very good high quality product that doesn't cost a whole lot point of the actual design itself so okay so we're going to look at this um, first of all one thing to note there's a sale going on right now so when I publish this hopefully this sale will still be on um, it's on now through uh, midnight of November 2nd and it says there's 50% off on their designs uh, it's the charts only and there's a couple ex uh, exceptions of uh, three different designs here you'll see listed that are, are not part of the sale um, now there's two different sections associated with uh, cross stitch designs that we're interested in. We're interested in this section called Crown Jewel Diamond Painting Canvases. And then we're also interested in the charts by artist. Okay, so we're going to go into the Crown Jewel Diamond Painting Canvases portion of the site first. And um, I'm going to show you it on the phone so you can see the size of that. So if you look, on, I'm looking on the phone, my phone right now, which is this display right here. Um, I'm going to click on the Crown Jewel Diamond Painting Canvases, and it's really small. So I'm going to open my phone screen on my phone, and I'm going to use the pinch method where you pinch your fingers together and then separate your fingers to zoom in. And you'll want, if you, if you have to use your phone to be able to access this site, you, the zoom in and out like I'm doing with my fingers right now, in and out to zoom, is going to be critical to be able to use this um, on this site because of the fact that it's, the print is so small because they don't have an application that you can download to be able to access their site. You actually have to use it just like you would a normal website. And because they're designs, the images are large. So... Um, that's why I wanted to show you the desktop versus the phone so you could see how it looks different. Um, like uh, when, you, when I scroll down, see all these are all the um, artist groups and they're pretty small. So, so first um, I'll show you it on the website and then I'll show you on the phone for this particular area just to get you familiar with how they look a little different. Okay, so we're in the Crown Jewel Diamond Painting Canvases and here what we see listed is... Um, we see all the designs listed by artist. Uh, so like for example, Tom Allen, Rachel Anderson. So it's alphabetical A to Z by the artist's last name. Okay. Now, um, if we go down, like for example, uh, look at this group uh, by this artist, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. We're probably a lot of us are familiar with that. She's a very um, big artist in the diamond painting world. Um, there's 67 designs that are by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Now, these are uh, crown jewel diamond paintings, uh, canvases. So what you need to know about that is it is just a canvas. It is not um, a kit like you would buy off Diamond Art Club or Craftably, um, where it would have the canvas, the drills, the toolkit. All this is is the canvas is what they're selling you, okay? They're selling you um, just the canvas with the symbols on it in this area of the site. So everything we see here is just canvases. So like for example, you'll notice every design in this area of the site says diamond painting canvas is the first word in the title. These are all the titles of each design. Diamond painting canvas, diamond painting canvas. And the reason they do that is when you do a search, that's an easy way to know whether it's a canvas or a chart you're buying when you look at these designs. They will, all of the designs here will start with diamond painting canvas. Okay, so there's 67 uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith designs um, here. And now, on the entire, if I go back here, in the entire list of all these artists, and I'll, I'll scroll down to show you how many there are, there's a few here. Um, they, have done, they have developed 1,200 different canvases that they, they will supply and offer for sale for, for designs from all of these artists, okay? So we looked at, let's look at a few of these artists. So um, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, we all know that one usually probably, very popular in the diamond painting community. Uh, Anna Dittman's very popular. Uh, if I click on hers, she doesn't have many, can, many canvas offerings, but she's got some nice, these are some nice designs. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Uh, let's look at uh, Selena Finish. So if I go to her, she's got 55 designs, and there's two pages to this. Whenever I'm clicking over these uh, these icons, it's it's bringing up the picture. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go back to that. We're back to the design, the the artist page. 
um, going down a little bit, just looking at some of these different ones. You might be familiar with Jeremiah Kittner. Um, there's six designs there that, that he has. And uh, Ching Chow Kuk, one of my favorite artists, um, has 207 different canvases that are offered, canvas products. And then, uh, let's see, who else is here? Well, there's, there's a bunch, actually. Lori, uh, Lori Prindle. You might recognize some of her designs uh, from Diamond Art Club. I believe she has some designs there. Um, quite a few different artists, actually. Now, one artist that you may not recognize, and I'm just showing one of these artists for that purpose, is Lisa Victoria. Um, now, if I open her designs, there's 61 different designs. I'm not familiar with this artist. Maybe she does have diamond paintings somewhere, but as far as diamond painting offerings or canvas offerings somewhere, but I haven't, I can't, I can't remember seeing any. Um, but she's got a, a lot of nice artwork here um, that uh, it would tra translate very well into a diamond painting. And so there's, there's, uh, so let's see, uh, 61 different new diamond paintings that you could do because of the can, you could buy the canvas and do that as a diamond painting. I'm going to go back. Um, let's see, uh, looking to see who else you might know. Um, there's a bunch of different artists you can pick from. Now let's go back and look at, uh, we'll go back and look at Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Look at her artwork. Okay. So, um, what you can do is you can purchase one of these canvases then like if i click on this one and open this particular one the very first one on the list um, you see that there's a canvas offering of the what's called the mini 12-sided dice fairy um, a jbg design okay it's 36 dollars and you have choices of what you can purchase you can per uh, how you can purchase it you have an option for printing of whether it's going to be a black and white symbols or it's going to be color symbols um, on your background, etc. So, like, if it's black and white, it's going to have a white background and black symbols, basically, or you know, a combination thereof. Um, so, one reason you might want to get a black and white one is if you wanted to have more of like the mystery canvas experience, like when you buy a mystery canvas off, a canvas off of uh, a kit off a of Diamond Art Club. Um, you basically, when you're doing the design, you're, all you're seeing is black and white. So the design just kind of, you know, pops out at you as you do each section. And you can like, maybe you could do an advent calendar of that and kind of watch the, you know, the design come to life as you do each block, a random block. Or maybe you would want a black and white uh, canvas to give to someone as a gift. And it would be more of a mystery to them and when they're doing the diamond painting. Now, how mystery it is, is depends on how much confetti there is in the diamond painting. Uh, when it has regular symbols, like for example, this, you might be able to see the fact that this looks like, a, you know, a die because of the way that the colors are, you know, there's probably a, a bit of color black in there. Nephew might be able to tell that that's that what that die is. But up here in some areas where it's got more confetti, uh, you may not be able to tell what's going on with that. So sometimes a mystery uh, canvas is uh, real and mysterious, and sometimes you can see regular patterns in it and kind of make out some things. It just depends how the design is developed, uh, what type of design it is. So, okay, the other option you have is you can pick your glue. You can pick pour glue or tape glue. Now, when it says tape glue, uh, in the diamond painting community, we're used to seeing more the term uh, double-sided adhesive, and that's what tape glue is. It's just a, uh, an adhesive that they put on top of the canvas that's basically laid down on top. And because it's laid down on top of the canvas the way that it is, there's always the potential that air bubbles can get into that glue. Um, or the glue to be lifted off of the canvas and then as you're pulling off the, the cover sheet and um, the possibility of introducing bubbles into that. So uh, if personally, if it were me and I had the different, uh, to choose between pour glue and tape glue and the fact that it doesn't affect the price, um, I would always choose pour glue if it were me. Um, there may be people that prefer the double-sided adhesive, but it's usually more problematic. The pour glue will give you more of the experience of the more premium uh, companies such as, you know, uh, Diamond Art Club or Craftably or, 
you know some of the other premium brands you'll get that better that more experience because um the glue is going to be a little more slippery a little easier to work with um, when i say slippery it means you can move the diamonds around a little bit easier where double-sided adhesive has a tendency to be harder to move diamonds around and they'll have a tendency to want to slide back into place because you're actually pulling the the double-sided adhesive when you're moving the diamond sometimes and it'll actually just you'll gradually watch it go back to where it was <laughs> so uh, if I, like i said if i had a choice and that's just my opinion is i would choose pour glue under the scenario where they're especially where they're the same price uh but that, that's just just a thought okay now um let's see let's go back and look at okay so we, now we can buy this canvas for 36 dollars and make our choice of that we can add it to our cart and purchase it obviously now what else can we tell about this canvas now like i said this is this site was built for cross stitchers and being built for cross stitchers they have a tendency to use terms and measurements in cross stitch terms okay so even though this is a canvas and only used for diamond painting they still show it in these are inches that they're showing here uh, 25 by 32 and you know in the diamond painting community we're used to by looking at measurements and um so if you want to know and i would suggest you always know um get a feel for how what the size of the canvas is before you purchase it uh, because what i said in the beginning was that cross stitch designs um, have a tendency to be larger and because uh, they come out larger in diamond painting because the side, the nature of the, of the beast is that diamonds are larger than stitches so they have a tendency to be they can be quite large if you're not careful you need to watch what size the designs are because you could wind up buying something and and get it and think oh my gosh this is going to take me forever to do anyway so you can determine what the size is in centimeters is the easiest way is to take these numbers which these are the drill sizes here 259 by 325 so if i uh, bring up a cal uh, calculator on screen let's do that and we'll look at the size okay so i'm going to take 259 divided by four and the reason i'm doing by four is that one centimeter is four diamonds side by side okay or excuse uh yeah is is four diamonds side by side so if the if this is 250 diamonds wide dividing that before is going to give us centimeters okay so that's going to be 64.75 centimeters wide and then 325 divided by four 81.25 centimeters high so it's 64 by 81 basically okay um, so that's that's not a bad size that's not too large you know 50 by 70 if you think of diamond art clubs that that's their sweet spot is what people term it um, it's kind of like the middle of the road diamond painting that a lot of people are used to doing that size and buy a lot of diamond paintings in that size it's a little bigger than that um, you're talking about mm, 50 by 70s uh, uh, 3500 square inches um 65 by 81 that's about 5,000 square inches so that's about a third more of the work you're getting a larger diamond painting for that uh, for the money though um so it's a it's a nice size i'll just say that okay now we can see we can if we click on this we can actually see open up the design or um, the art let me say the image uh, we're seeing the image now and if i click forward there's two images one of two and i click forward on this i'm going to see the second image is going to be the mock-up okay and the mock-up is basically what the rendered image would look like so if you diamond paint this you're going to get this level of resolution out of this design and you can see it's quite easy you're not seeing any pixelation really and when you think about this this design is going to be a lot larger it's going to look really good it's going to be really sharp um, this dragon is going to be very well detailed. You can tell there's high detail in this as it is because like look um, this like when you look like it, I'm looking at our like headpiece there. See that this the 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 bright yellow that's coming out the small dots that tells me that um, it's a really nice we're going to get really nice um, uh, resolution in this image because of the fact that the the diamonds are so small in comparison to the size of the image. So it's it's going to be a really nice diamond painting. Uh, once it's done anyway so we can see that we can also click here and get a mock-up uh, and that's just the mock-up straight out it goes to page two basically if I do page one it's this image up here and page two is the other this image down here um, then the next thing we can look at is um, 
is the drills, drill usage chart. Okay, if I open this document, the drill usage chart, it's basically showing me um, every DMC color that's in this design and the full means full stitches. Again, another cross stitch term, but in our terms, in diamond painting terms, full is a full stitch, which means a full diamond or a full drill, okay? So when it says DMC 152, it's telling us there's 359 drills of DMC 152 color used in the design. So 154 has 1893, etc., etc., okay? Now, you'll notice that there's also listed half, quarter, and then various stitching types, okay? Now, you can't have half a drill in diamond painting. I have not personally seen one that had quantities in these columns, but if you did see quantities in those columns, I probably would not buy this in a diamond painting or a chart, um, or a can I guess a canvas, it would have to be okay. They probably would never put one in here, but for a chart, if you were buying a chart, not just the canvas, um, I'd be very concerned if I saw halves and quarters, because you have to have a full diamond. You can't half a diamond, at least. Um, I don't think you'd want to, <laughs> to be, to do a diamond painting, to have to sit and cut diamonds in half. Anyway, so if we look down the list, we're going to see all the colors involved and the counts of the, of the drills that would be in the design. Okay, there's three pages of this. Okay, now one thing, I don't know if you caught this, but we haven't seen anywhere where there was the number of colors that are in this design. I counted this earlier. There's 90 colors in this design. Okay. Now, if I go back, I'm going to X this and go back to that main page. You don't see the colors anywhere. So sometimes on these canvases, you have to do the counts of the colors yourself if you want to know. Now, I will tell you in general on Heaven Earth Designs site, um, the colors for uh, the diamond paintings that you do there, the charts and the um, uh, canvases that you buy, whether they're crown jewel or whether you buy the, the chart itself, um, they are um, mainly 88 to 91 or 92, I think it goes, range. A and that's for the standard colors range, uh, count range. There are charts that go over 200. They're called max color charts. Um, but if you see one that doesn't say max color, generally up here in the description, generally they're going to be in the range of 88 to 92. Now, the, the other thing you need, the, that you need to know is there's different size of diamond painting sometimes. Um, this is a mini, okay? A mini means it's smaller than another version of this diamond painting that's out there um, of the same design. Generally, that's what it means, that there's another one out there. Um, and there'll be a, it'll be a much larger design done in diamond painting. But like I said, the, the cross-stitch versions don't come out as large. They're two and a half times smaller than the diamond painting versions. So that's why you'll see different sizes sometimes because a cross-stitcher will want to work on a size that's not tiny. But if they do this in stitches, it, it could be quite small um, compared to a diamond painting. Okay, so we've looked at this display. We know basically you understand the basics of that product. Okay, and we'll go back. Now, um, we saw, uh, we looked at all the, uh, well, we're back at the design page for uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith. Let's go back to the, the main page. So we've got all these different artists we could choose from. And like I said, there's 1,200 different canvases offerings um, that they have. Now, like I said, it's only the canvas. So if you decide to do one of these designs or buy a canvas from them that's got the pre-printed symbols on them, um, what you're going to find is you're going to have to source your drills elsewhere. That's why they're giving us the drill usage chart is so we can see what DMC colors we need um, and what uh, quantity there are of each drill. Um, you could take that drill chart and give it to a vendor um, and have them... Uh, uh, send you a drill package or give you a drill quote so that you can see um, how much it would cost you to do the design and you could even do that before you even purchase the design to see how much it's going to cost you um, to put the drills together and purchase those because you're going to have you're going to purchase from a vendor the drill package 
Um, if you don't, you, if you have enough in your spares, if you've been diamond painting long enough, you might have a, a, you know, enough spares or a lot of colors, and you might be able to source from your own spares. Um, but generally, if you if you decided you were going to buy the entire drill package, what the cost now that you have involved is you're buying the canvas, like that one canvas we saw was thirty six dollars. Um, let's pull up another canvas just to get a, a feel for what some of the costs are. I'm in I'm in the um, Ching uh, Ching Chow Cook uh, designs. I'm going to pull up this one. Now this one is twenty eight dollars uh, for the canvas. Um, so you got to buy the canvas, then you, you would pay, there's, I don't know for sure on their canvas, I'm assuming there's a shipping fee, I haven't looked, um, but then you'd pay that, you'd pay that, and then you'd also pay for your drills and probably a shipping fee for your drills. So if this design, for example, was available on a standard diamond painting kit site where you buy the kit where you're getting the diamond painting, the drills, and the tool kit bundled together, um, it probably would be cheaper to buy the kit if it's available um, in a similar size on a site um, rather, like Diamond Art Club or Craftably or um, etc. Um, rather than buying just the canvas here and then having to source the drills um, elsewhere. Now the only time I would think you, you might be tempted to you know if you just wanted the challenge of, of you know you said you know you decided i just want to get my own drills i'm going to get the highest quality drills i can you know if you decide you want to do that then maybe you'd want to do this and try that um but generally if you buy it from a high quality company like diamond art club you're going to get good drills um if the canvas and kit already exist i would probably purchase from a site like that unless you wanted to go for an extra large size or something then you might source one out here um, but in general Kits, if a kit's available somewhere else, I would generally seek out the kit. Unless I was looking for something, there was something very unique about um, the heaven and earth design. Like it was a really large size and I wanted a really large size. Um, something like that would be the only thing that would push me to buy one of these um, crown jewel canvases um, over a kit available um, out in the public. Now, assuming the kits that you're buying out in the public are licensed. Um, if a kit wasn't licensed out in the public market, and you will find that there's kits out there that will be of these designs that are not licensed. That that's the only place you see it is at a, 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 a if you see a really low dollar uh, kit on the market for these type of designs, um, you know, and they're fifty by seventy, and they're only asking for you know fifteen dollars. That's probably almost assuredly not going to be a licensed kit. And almost, I will tell you, almost assuredly, it's not going to have high quality diamonds and it probably won't have a high quality canvas. So you're going to get an entirely different experience. And then at the same time, if it's not licensed, that means the art, the artwork is stolen basically from the artist. Um, the artist didn't give their permission, they're not being compensated, and they're not being paid for their beautiful work. So if you can find a licensed kit, um, out in the open market, great, buy it. If you can't, come here and you can buy it. You can still help compensate that artist at the same time as you get a nice kit and you get a quality canvas. So that's another option for you, okay? Okay, so I think I've, I've drilled that enough. So, <laughs> okay, so Crown Jewel uh, Diamond Painting Canvases, that's that's the one of the areas we were interested in. Now, I want to look at um, another area that's very, very helpful. Um, is the charts by artist section. Again, on, when I click on that section, um, the canvases are organized by the artist, okay, and by the artist's last name. Like, again, we'll see like Tom Allen, Rachel Anderson, A to Z, all the way down. Now, notice when I'm scrolling down on this one is that there's a ton more artists in this group. Um, a ton more there's a lot more I'm, I'm still scrolling down i'm not even at the bottom yet okay um so we're at the bottom now give me a second to drink now there are sixteen thousand different charts that you can buy now these are charts these are not canvases when you buy a chart, what it's basically saying is, is they're offering you the design, the pattern to do the diamond painting,
but they're not providing the canvas and again they're not providing the drills so if you purchase one of these designs let's open one up i'm going to go to jasmine beckett griffith because she's an artist a lot of us know when we look at these individual designs all we're going to get is the design the pattern for it to tell us you know how many drills does it have what color are they um it'll give you a chart that shows you the symbols and where they go on the pattern and that's what you got to work with okay which is great and fun and i enjoy doing them um but it's a different experience and you just go into it knowing what your costs are work up your cost to understand what it's going to cost you to do a design and um so you would have to um buy the design so let's say we click on one of these designs let's look at that we looked at that 12-sided fairy a minute ago let's look at that design here okay now i'm gonna notice that first of all a nice a nice effect is that they have a half off on their site right now so notice that design was 19 dollars for for the pattern it is now only nine dollars and fifty cents i could choose a couple different ways to get it i could do a pdf download a pdf and use that or i could do have them send me a copy of the chart if i didn't have access to a printer okay um, there's regular formats and there's large chart formats um, the reason for the two the regular chart would be you know it's regular size this is going to be a much larger format to see now i will tell you in pdf form um I if if it were me I'd choose I would choose the regular chart. You could uh, I I would choose the regular chart. If I if you wanted to send yourself a hard copy, I guess you could choose one or the other. Um you could choose the PDF large copy too, but um I think when when we get down and I start showing how how to use these and the way I'm going to suggest and the new process that I'm going to show you, uh it would not be and we couldn't even use the large chart. It wouldn't work well. Uh, we would want to have the regular chart. Anyway, we'll talk about that later more. So you have that as an option. Now, again, on this 12-sided dice fairy, um, let's go down and look at the design for this one and see what it is. Okay, so it shows me the finished design size is 500 by 627. Notice this is a different size than the last one we looked at. We saw the mini before. This is not the mini, and it doesn't say mini up here, okay? Um, a lot of the diamond paintings that you're going to want to do off this site, a lot of them are going to have the word mini in front of them. Unless you want to do a humongous design that's like more like four diamond paintings put together in, in many instances. This is the, these sizes that are called uh, minis, the one we looked at before, the canvas we looked at before that was the 12-sided dice fairy. Um, it is... Um, it is more like um, a standard diamond painting size and a lot of times those minis are around 65 by 80 or so that's they're kind of around that that area generally um, in size okay so this says 500 by 627 now I'm going to grab my calculator out again so we can do some math okay so we're going to take 500 remember I told you there's four diamonds per centimeter so we're going to divide it by four diamonds since it's 500 diamonds wide or 500 drills wide okay so it's 125 centimeters wide that's huge that's that's very big um bigger than probably the width of almost any diamond painting off diamond art club um okay so it's 125 centimeters wide and then we're going to do the 627 627 divided by four. that equals 156.75 centimeters so um 125 by 157 uh centimeters that's that's huge that's humongous uh diamond painting so um and you don't need that for this uh to get the resolution that we would want in a diamond painting this is this one would work that 65 by 80 we saw would be a nice size now notice down here it says there is a mini available here so they're telling you they have a mini version of this chart so if i click on that i can open the mini version up okay now notice our price change it was 950 before at half price now it's six dollars so this mini version is cheaper even okay so now it's 259 by 325 which is the 64 
centimeter by 81 centimeter we saw earlier which is a nice size okay so they're telling us that they have this design in um, a mini size and a, what they call a regular size when it doesn't say mini um, they, and we know we already saw earlier that they have a, um, a, a crown jewel canvas so we have three options right now we could choose for um, from on these designs okay on this design excuse me so if I click um, on this it's going to show the flosh usage chart now they term it flosh usage when they're talking about a chart not a diamond not the canvas because when they when you're purchasing it as a chart and not a canvas it really acts like more like a cross dish design because it even says 25 count here 25 count is, is actually a term for cross stitch it's how many stitches are in an inch of, mat of the material that you're buying it's 25 count fabric which means that they can get 25 stitches in one inch okay in diamond painting terms we uh, if you take 10 diamonds and stack them side by side that are and I'm talking square whenever I'm talking diamonds in this, this sense the 2.5 millimeter diamonds that we all use that are square okay Tw uh, if you take 10 of those and stack them side by side that is approximately one inch so 10 versus 25 so um, if so if if they're using 25 stitches and we've got to take 25 stitches to to be comparable in diamond painting that means this design is is right at two and a half times size larger when done as a diamond painting as it is when this design is used as a cross stitch design okay so let's look at this so this is what they call the flush flush used for full stitches okay so this tells us this is all the symbols that are going to be in the pattern when you buy the pattern we won't see the actual pattern until we purchase the design but i'm going to show you an example one okay so we see the symbols it tells us how many strands of uh of floss that they're going to use if this were being done as a cross stitch so we ignore this column it's meaningless to us so we have symbols and we have the diamond uh the dmc color and then we have the color name okay now notice that there are colors that are under 150. now in diamond painting we're not used to seeing colors under 150 but in floss or cross stitch they commonly have colors under 150. like um, some of these colors will be metallic threads under 150 and there is a conversion chart for diamond painting colors to from cross stitch colors under 150 to diamond painting colors above 150. now i won't tell you exactly but like dmc 12 might convert to dmc 334 something like that it's good we're going to have a conversion available to us that takes this 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 um color up to a color above 150 that's very very close to it and will work okay so know that so don't be concerned that you might see dmc's under 150 because we can resolve that by using a substitution of a color when it comes time if you have some of those some this design particularly has a bunch of dmc's under 150 you don't generally see this much um, a lot of times i will see just like one or two colors a lot of dmc zero ones very common color that you might see under 150 dmc um, 32 is another color that's common to be under 150 they convert to basically white a lot of times or off-white um, but anyway so so we have all of our symbols we have all of our colors listed we go down in the list we'll see the page after page after page because <laughs> there's 90 of them or 89 I think in this particular design now after we get past the um, floss summary we see the usage summary now this is tells us how you use the colors and which are the stitches okay so again we have our dmc numbers listed just like we did on the other three pages but we're going to see those three pages again and it's going to tell us what the dmc number is and how many stitches and it's going to say full means full stitches in cross search terms full to us means how many diamonds a full diamond um, so there's 525 of dmc 05 there's 1935 count of diamonds for D dmc 154. now you'll see half quarter and other types of stitches we should not see or we don't want to see 
um, half stitches or quarter stitches because we can't do anything below one diamond. You're not going to be cutting diamonds to get quarter diamonds um, in your design. So I, do, I have not personally ran into a design that has um, half or quarter stitches. There may be some out there. I'm assuming that there are because of the fact that um, the chart uh, shows it in the list. Why would they show it otherwise? Um, but I haven't seen any. Um, so we, were, we want to see this column to be the one that's populated. The zeros, if you see, start seeing numbers and halves and quarters are these back stitches, um, that means that uh, you need to question whether that's a design you'd want to do in cross stitch, or excuse me, in diamond painting, because cross stitch is doing something funky with that design and you won't be able to duplicate it in diamond painting terms. Um, you won't be able to finish the chart um, if you have run into those. So I, I would just always do a perusal of this, those other columns to make sure they're all zeros just in case um, you were to run into any. Okay, now that, there's three pages of that. Okay, now I'm at the end of the pages. Now, we're not seeing the actual pattern. In other words, the pattern being um, what the layout of the design looks like, how, what you would follow to be able to apply the diamonds to the blank canvas that you would purchase for this, okay? So, I'll show you an example of that. Okay, so we have six pages of information on that, okay? Now, because we don't, um, because we don't have, I, ca I can't pull up that design and show you it, um, we're going to go look at an example one that we can look at. Just a second, we'll get a drink. Okay, so um, we're going to exit this. We're going to go back up to the top of the page. And we're going to go to um, free charts. Okay, if I click on free charts, okay, you'll see listed here um, charts that um, basically are free, um, are free right now on the, on the, on the site. Um, you could download all these charts if you wanted to for free. Um, don't get too excited yet because there's not that many and they're not updated that often. <laughs> I, I, I get everybody's thinking, oh, free charts, I'll just go for a free one. <laughs> No, there's not that many designs, and uh, there's only seven on here. If I if I go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Um, there's seven different charts right now, and notice on the free it says they were last updated in April, so they're not updated very often. So don't you don't need to go out and be looking at these every day to see if they change. Uh, so anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pick on this last chart. That's a Hannah Lynn design, and when I click on it, I'm actually opening the chart itself. Okay, now um, when we look at this, um, we can tell, first time we know it's a handle in. So if we look at the design, it says 400 by 500. Now I taught you earlier how to convert that to centimeters. So what do we do? We divide by four. So 400 divided by four diamonds each per centimeter. It's going to be uh, 100 centimeters by 125 centimeters. Again, this is a very large diamond painting. Now, notice it says that it's 16 wide by 20 high, okay? Now, that's cross-stitch terms they're talking about in inches. If you do it in a cross-stitch, it's going to be 16 by 20 because it's on 25-count fabric. Now, remember what I said, the 25-count fabric is basically two and a half times the size uh, or, or you get 20, uh, two and a half times the number of stitches in an inch than you do with diamond painting or diamonds. <laughs> Getting confused with my terms. Um, so this design, when we do it, if you were to convert those centimeters to inches for diamond painting, this is going to be two and a half times that. So it's basically going to be 40 inches by um, 50 inches. Basically take this size div divided by 10. And that's about the inches it's going to be. It's, it's approximate, but it's really close. Um, 10 diamonds is, is just about an inch. So it'll be about 40 inches by 50 inches. Now, in diamond painting size, you're talking three and a half feet wide by over four feet wide. 
So this is, would be a very large diamond painting. Now it tells you that it contains 89 colors in this design. If we go down, it's going to show us the chart. It's telling you how it lays out the pages left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's just an example to show you how you lay out the pages. I actually have something I wanted to show you on how that lays out that I mocked up. Um, I'm showing you the, the application Excel, but you won't use Excel. Don't worry about that. This is just, I'm just showing you a template of, if I were to take those pages in the design and lay them out, this is what they look like. So we have page one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, next row, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Now notice that we have two rows of the design. You can kind of make out what the design is. You can see that this is the design. You can see the poinsettia and her hair and her arm coming down. And we're right at the elbow, basically, on her arm. So basically, this design is from here across up. It's one-third, basically, of the design. So we've, we're looking at 12 pages. There's 36 pages in this design. So there's 24 more pages of this design to look at. And that's what you would use to actually do the diamond painting with if you did this huge, humongous diamond painting. Now let's go look at an individual page. Okay, I'm going back to the design. Now, so again, it's going to show us our floss usage, showing our symbols, our DMC numbers, and the actual DMC color. Okay. If I go down, we're going to see a couple pages of that to get to 89 colors. Now we're back. We're down into the usage summary. Now the usage summary, again, will show you we saw the symbols and the DMC number up here. This, this one shows you the, the DMC number and the stitch counts, which is equal to diamond counts, right? So we got DMC 159 is 634 drills, etc. Okay. So I'm going to go down past this. We have three pages of that. And now we're in our design. So I'm going to bring the design up a little bit in the size so you can see it a little better. Okay. Now, what we're seeing right now is we're seeing the blocks in the pages. So they basically, when they look at the, when they talk about the design and the pattern, they're talking by about a 10 square by 10 square block. And then you see the dark lines and the grids. Okay. That's a, that is a block that you work in. Typically, when you work on these uh, uh, to a blank canvas, is a lot of people will work on these by three blocks across and two blocks down, or four blocks across and two blocks down, because you've got to count over where those diamonds go, or you use a piece of software. There's a software tool as well that you can use, and I'll show you all that later of how you lay that out. Um, but but basically what you're doing, you're working on a very small portion of the page. And this design has 36 pages. So this would take you to do a four block by two or a three block by two. You're talking, talking approximately an hour's worth of work um, or more, depending on how slow you are diamond painting. But when you watch it, if you watch YouTubers, they'll typically do when they do a block, if they're, you know, a crater that's, that's doing one, they'll typically do a three by two block, you know, three 10 by 10 blocks, <laughs> I know it's a little confusing, uh, by two, um, six blocks basically is what they'll do. And they might get it done in the hour to an hour and a half that they're working. So it's a slow growing process and it takes a while. It's, you know, it's a labor of love. Um, but if you love diamond painting and you love the challenge, you might be up for it. So um, they're fun to do. I enjoy them. Like I said, I have a new process that makes it a whole lot easier, I think. But I wanted to show you basically that because this is a free design, I can show you this design. Um, you know, I can show you the full design and you, because they, they're giving it away anyway. There's no point in holding on, you know, not showing you this design. You can download it yourself right now if you wanted to for free. Okay. But um, let me give you a caution. Um, they sell these designs, right? Um, so in selling the design, you're basically getting the right to use the design to do a diamond painting um, off of the design. You're not given the right to uh, give the design the PDF document to other people. I mean, even when you purchase drills and you go to give the drill chart, you're not supposed to give the pattern to anyone. You can give not the pages that have the symbols on them. Okay. You're not supposed to show a full page anywhere. 
um, you know, um, um, in a YouTube video or, um, or to print it out and give it to someone else or to post the full PDF somewhere or, or when you, when you're giving, uh, if you need to give it to a vendor, um, uh, like Cooper Diamonds or whatever, uh, to be able to work up a diamond quote for you, you're supposed to give them only the this set of pages that has the usage summary. Or, I mean, you could give them the symbols. The symbols won't be useful to them. But this, this three pages here that shows the DMC number and the count is what they would use to work up a quote for you uh, for the cost of doing that design. You're not supposed to give them this part. Um, now, and, and it, I know it looks like it's all in one design, and it is. It's all one PDF document. But if I, if I come over and let's go over, I'm going to exit this for a second. Exit this. this well, I'm going to open a new page, actually. Um, I'm going to go to, no, let me, let's just search this way. It's the easiest. Okay, Heaven Earth Designs. I'm going to open a new page. I should have duped that one. Um, anyway. So if I come out here and I type Maui Princess, I'm going to do a search at the top. You can search for any design on the site. Now, I will tell you their search engine is very particular. If you misspelling it, it's not good. For, I don't think it has a phonetic speller, uh, a, a, a conversion to do a search phonetically. Um, if you misspell things, a lot of times it, it won't find the design. Okay, so watch your spelling. Okay, so now we see the freebie design, which is what we just downloaded, and then we see this other design. Now, if I pull this one up, this is the standard design that they have on their site. If I open that up and I go down here to the floss usage chart like we did a minute ago on the other charts, that's all I'm going to get is, the, is what they have available on the site. And this is, this is what you'd want to send a vendor, this document. Don't send them the document that you download that has the full pattern in it because you'd be basically um, breaking uh, your agreement with, uh, with Heaven Earth Designs that you would not distribute the document. Because um, if we all gave you know, the designs to the vendors and the vendors, not, not, I, I'm sure they're all on the up and up, but it's just it's, it's the rules of Heaven Earth Designs. They don't want us sending out or, or sending off copies of this, uh, or excuse me, of this piece where it has the chart okay the chart is that's what you're paying for basically you're paying for this chart and that's precious to them that that not be distributed to other people um and you'd be breaking the licensing agreement that they have with um the artist and we want to support the artist we don't want to give their work away um so okay so there's that okay so um next um Let's see, there's one other thing that I wanted to show you. Um, now, we went back in, let's go, let's go back. I'm trying to think what I want to show you next. Let's go to, let's do this. We're going to look for, um, I'm going to go back to the charts by artist. And I'm going to go down here to the uh, Jasmine Becca Griffith, the 12-sided dice fairy. Let's search for that and see what comes up on the entire site if I, if I search for that. 12-sided dice fairy. Okay? Now, when I searched for that, notice I get a whole lot more... I get several different... Well, this is a 20-sided dice fairy. It just came up by chance because of the numbers. Um, but we have four different designs we could choose from. Now, we have seen, we know that the one that starts with diamond painting canvas is the crown jewel canvas, and it's from that area of the site, so we know that's actually a canvas we would purchase, right? Now, we know the mini, because we pulled up the mini, it's the smaller version, and we know this one, that's the 500 by 627. We saw that earlier, but there's a new one that popped up, and we searched this way. This is the material pack. Now, like I said, remember this, I pulled it up, this is a cross-stitch site. So when you see material pack, what that means is it is the floss they're selling to, to you at that point. So we don't need, this is not advantageous for us in diamond painting community. But it shows you basically they can buy the, you know, what size um, fabric they want and what the floss is um, that they're going to use for the design. Okay. Um, so that, that's why it costs so much. They're buying a bunch of uh, cross stitch materials when they're buying for that entire design. It's going to be huge. 
Um, so, so now we looked at that. Now, let's go, um, let's go look at one more thing. I wanted to show you before we leave the site. Oh, I know one thing we didn't look at. Let's go back to the char charts by artist. Okay, so like I said, this is a huge, the charts themselves, they're huge, there's a huge list, okay? Now, there's, there's, um, remember when I showed you in the crown jewel canvases we were looking at? We went and looked at uh, JBG, uh, J uh, uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith's designs. There were 67 crown jewel canvases we could purchase, right? Let's click on this. Now, there are 536 charts we could purchase, okay? So, a ton of artwork that Jasmine Beckett Griffith has developed or um, done that is available on this site for you to diamond paint. Now, this is a very popular artist. So you're going to know that you're going to recognize quite a few of these designs. But have you ever seen the one with uh, the wolfish friend? I'm not familiar with that design. Have you ever seen this one, the Abraxas? Never seen that design. This is this um, this is absinthe. I've seen that one, um, and the absinthe burnt bay. Obviously, we've seen. But uh, some of these designs you will recognize. Like this one's very popular, the Alice and Snow White. Um, but like this design, the uh, Lana, I've never seen that design before, um, except for on this site. Um, so there's a lot of different artwork available from these artists that are not available as diamond painting kits out in diamond painting community. And um, they're not going to be a lot of this work because there's 16,000 different designs that are in canvas, not canvas, a chart form available that are not even going to be on this site available for canvases but you can do them what you got to do is you purchase the chart so if we wanted to do like this abraxas design i'd pull up that design you know i'd, I'd do my evaluation of whether that size was right that's quite a large canvas i probably wouldn't choose that particular one i'd be looking for a mini down here but i don't see a mini but i would search here's what i would do i would go out and i would take that term and i'd come up here and put it in the search engine uh, their search engine, and I would search to look for Abraxas. Now, it didn't come up. Let me let me go out to the main page, and then it'll make more sense. Okay, so I'm gonna put Abraxas in there, and let's search. Okay, now when I search, it popped right up with this design. That tells me that there's only one version, one design available for this Abraxas image, and it is 400 by 295, 100 uh, centimeters by about 75 centimeters is what that is so it's quite a large design i might not choose this one to do in a diamond painting because it's just so large it, 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 it'd be a nice project but it would, it would take a while if you want to do one that large um so anyway so i could i could find the design here okay and then i could purchase the, the i could purchase the chart and when i purchase it you know we saw the flush usage chart that showed us you know the symbols the dmc number the counts of the diamonds but if we purchase this design we're going to get the chart the pattern that we saw okay like we saw on that free chart that i saw earlier we would get that now that's only part of the picture though now we're paying 950 for the design now we got to go out and buy a canvas that fits this a hundred centimeters wide by 75 is going to be an expensive can a pretty expensive canvas depending on where you get it at and the quality that you get um, that canvas could run you anywhere from $40 up to $70. So add that on. Uh, let's say let's say $70 for that one. If you wanted to buy a really nice one, well, well, let's let's put it middle of the road. Let's say $50 for the canvas, then $10 or so for the design, even on sale. $20 for the design when it's not on sale, approximately. So now we're up to $60 to $70. Now you got to buy drills. There's a lot of drills in this canvas because it's a large canvas. Um, it's going to have, uh, you know, 80,000 or not even more than that, uh, 400 by approximately 300. That's 12. That's going to be 120,000 or so drills um, that you're going to be purchasing to make this canvas design. So that's going to run you, um, I I'm going to guess, 80 bucks, uh, 60 to 80 bucks. Let's say 50 bucks, even just you know best guess of what that might be so now we've got you know 60 to 70 bucks plus 50 bucks so it's, it's getting up there in cost to do this large image um, because it's so large 
um, bit. So, so that's where you got to make decisions is, okay, if I, if I were evaluating, do I want to do this as a heaven or design? First thing, you know, I go out here and look, I've looked at all, a lot of these images. I love looking at the heaven and earth designs. I've looked a lot of, at a lot of the charts and by the artists that I really like. And um, what you got to do, what I would do, when I am evaluating this, if I wanted to do the Abraxas diamond painting, as an, as, if I wanted to do this design, I would go out first thing I would do is I say, okay, I like that design. I want to do that design. I'd make my decision that that's, that's the one I want. And then I would go out and I would search the web for a diamond painting kit version of it to see if there is one available. Okay. If there is one available, my next question would be, is it a license provider? Because if it costs $15 for that design, it's not probably going to be licensed. It's not going to be a high quality kit. The diamonds are probably going to be have issues. It's, it's just, you know, this is going to be a very large project. Um, you're just going to, don't want to be frustrated by having low quality products if you can avoid it. Um, uh, if, uh, if you want a really good experience, um, I, and I will tell you most, I, I started, I will tell you my experience. Um, I started, when I first started diamond painting, I bought diamond paintings off Amazon, probably almost, I'd say most people did. And I bought, sir, you know, I, shoot, I bought maybe 20 of them. Um, before I, because they were so inexpensive, you know, ten dollars, fifteen dollars. Oh, these are fun. These are fun to do. And I, I was noticing the quality was suffering. And then I, then I found, you know, the more premium uh, diamond painting companies. And not only was like the Amazon products generally smaller, you know, they were small kits. And sometimes small kits are fun, and I like doing small kits. I especially, and you know, if you're going to do like a, a you know special gem project. Amazon's a good place to get it, you know, with, and reason, you know, you don't want to do like these, not these beautiful artist designs. You don't want to buy them off Amazon because I would guarantee you that it's stolen artwork. If you're buying this off Amazon, unless it's Diamond Art Club off Amazon, I don't, I don't know. And somebody would have to tell me that there's other vendors out there on Amazon besides Diamond Art Club that are licensed, that are paying the artists for their work. And if you buy that off, if you buy an Amazon design, a lot of times you, it'll say 30 by 40, uh, you know, centimeters, but it's not 30 by 40 when you get it. It's 25 by 35. And 30 by 40 is 1,200 square, in, uh, square centimeters, okay? 30 times 40, right? So 1,200, take that now to 25 by 35, that's approximately 600 or maybe 700 square centimeters. So it's size-wise, it's a lot smaller than you think as far as your diamond painting experience goes because <laughs> people get on me and say, I buy, I buy diamond paintings for the image. I'm like, well, I look at both. <laughs> and people look at me funny. I always get the turned head when I say, I look at the size too because the size, and not just because if it's too big or not, I'm looking for the value of it. I'm, I'm just a numbers person. And um, when I look at it, I'm like, okay, how many square centimeters am I getting for my investment? And when I have a tendency to like the larger, you know, 50 by 70s or above, slightly above that diamond paintings because they're usually a better value um, in that if I buy a 30 by 40 and it's a true 30 by 40, that's 1,200 square centimeters, right? And if I buy a 50 by 70, that's 3,500 square centimeters. So it's almost three times as big as a 30 by 40, but I guarantee you almost always the cost is not three times as much. Now, it, it's, everybody's different. You might say, well, I just like to do a whole bunch of images. Um, I'm just encouraging you to look when you can look for licensed artwork by these artists and you will find a lot of quality artwork here in every bit of its license. And that feels really good knowing, for me personally, it feels really good knowing, knowing the artists are compensated for this. So when I go out and look, if I wanted to do this Abraxas, like I was saying, I might find it on Amazon. Again, Amazon, if I found it on Amazon, it's probably gonna be a small quality image, price uh, lower quality product. But if I, if I find it on a quality diamond painting site, such as, um, uh, Diamond Art Club, Craftably, Mary's Diamonds, you know, there's, there's a myriad of them. If you go out and look on, um, I think Diamonds and Washi and Emeralds and Fairy Lights on their combined, I don't know what their, I cannot remember what their Facebook uh, uh, group is called, but if you go out and went on, I think it's called Diamonds and Emeralds now that I think about it, out on uh, Facebook, um, they have a listing there that tells you 
the quality licensed vendors that are out there. Okay, and if you pick from those vendors, you're probably going to get a quality experience. And what you're going to get is you're going to get a licensed product with higher drill quality, and um, it will be a, it'll be a good you'll have a good diamond painting experience. So what I'm suggesting is that if I were going to do a Braxis, I would go out and search the web, see if one of those quality people pop up for this. I'd put in diamond painting a Braxis. Or Diamond Painting of Braxis and Jasmine Beckett Griffith, if this name was very common for some reason. And I would search to see if one of the premium companies has that diamond painting in an already in kit form. And if they did, I would probably purchase it if the size was good. In other words, I didn't think it was going to be too pixelated. Now, if I didn't find it out there, I would next thing I would do is I'd say okay no diamond no diamond, no quality diamond painting companies are doing this image I'd come out to Heaven Earth Design and I'd search for a Braxis and we already did that search but it, I would look to see if they had a crown jewel canvas because then I'm getting the canvas already with the with the symbols on it and now all I got to do is purchase my diamonds right um, but if they didn't have that then your other option is to buy one of these charts by artists. And you can get to do the design. You just have to put the ca the the um, uh, the package together yourself. You buy you know the blank canvas. You buy the the diamonds separately, and you buy the chart here, and you can put it all together and do that design. And that 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 is the the process that I use mentally when I'm thinking about um, when I when I fall in love with an image because I fall in love with images too. It's not all just what size is it, etc. I, I start with an image. Do I like the image and and do I love it enough to go away from a diamond painting kit and say, I'm going to do it myself, either buy and buy the canvas uh, from Heaven Earth Designs and then buy the diamond separately or buy the whole thing separate and you starting straight from a chart. So those are the decisions you have to make and everybody makes different decisions and it's all independent. Nobody's going to judge you for the decisions you make. Um, but if you can, if you can, do um, a licensed product and buy from one of these higher quality sites, you're going to enjoy, enjoy your experience better. I, I, it's just the, the facts of it. Okay, so I've given my spiel several times now during this because it's important to me. Um, okay, so now, now that we know how the, the site works from the standpoint, you, you're, you should understand now um, the difference between a crown jewel canvas and a chart and what each contains. Crown jewels are just the canvas, the charts have just the designs, and understand how to look up. We looked on the site to be able to search and find what different types of designs there are, whether they're the many designs, which are more the diamond painting sizes that we do, or if the large design comes up that doesn't have many in the title. Um, or if it says diamond painting canvas, we know that that's a crown jewel canvas when we do our search. You, have, you're, you are armed now to be able to search the site and be able to find quality designs. Now, when you find a design, I would suggest that, first of all, I suggest you create an account. Just, you know, log in, create an account. Um, when you have an account, you can create a wish list and put some things in your wish list that you're interested in. And then at some point, you know, maybe, maybe there'll be a sale or maybe you decide you want to buy one now um, when you're a little more educated. I would suggest if, you, if this is your first experience with Heaven and Earth Designs, I, this, I'm working on this, di this series for Heaven and Earth Designs and I'm going to give you a lot more information. You might make a different decision on what version of the diamond painting you choose, whether you buy a canvas um, or whether you want to buy, you know, a, a, a different size, etc. You might want to wait until we get through the basics of the series to decide if you're, this is interesting you. Um, give it a couple weeks um, before you, you know, dip too far in. If you're not familiar with Heaven Earth Designs and this is new, I've got some more education that I'm going to be giving on this site in this series that I'm working on, that we're working through right now. This is the first video of that. And you might make a different decision at that point um, based off all the information I'm going to give you. But I would suggest go out here if it's something that interests you in doing one of these designs, like the ones I showed at the beginning of this video, um, that uh, Dreaming of Being Human. Oh my gosh, I just fell in love with Heaven and Earth Designs the moment when I started doing that and, and I saw how beautiful her red hair came out in The Mermaid. I was like, oh my gosh, I am loving Heaven and Earth Designs. And... Um, 
I, I've, I put together a wish list and I bought several of, of these canvases, or not canvases, I haven't bought any of the canvases. I have bought several of the charts to do and I buy them when they're on sale. Um, they have had sales on their site. They would had one in March, one in July, one in October, and they just now launched this one that's up for a couple of days. I think it appeared on the 1st. It's going to be through the end of the second of November 2nd, 2022. Um, if you can catch that sale, or if you're already familiar with the Heaven Earth Designs and know that you want some of those, great, go for it. Um, but put some in your wish list maybe that you, when you look through this, if you see something you like, and then maybe later on at some point, um, you'll go through and you'll, you know, buy that design. Now, I want to go back and show you, because um, it might help to see. I'm going to type off to see the wizard, <laughs> the wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> okay, and the reason I did that, remember at the beginning of the video, I showed you this design. I did this one, okay? I did this design. Now, We've, you, you should be educated enough now to understand the differences between all these different designs, okay? We see the diamond painting. We know that's a drag crown jewel canvas now, right? Here's the mini. We know that's going to be the smaller size, and it is 285 by 225. So that's approximately, well, let's do the math. Oh. So 285. Remember, we divide it by four to get the centimeters to see what it is. So it's 285, so it's 71 centimeters by 225 divided by four. So 71 by 56. So that's the design size of this one, okay? Now, so we know that that's the mini and probably that that's a, you know, 56 by 71, that's a pretty good size. We'd probably pick that in diamond painting form would be good size for that design. Now, if it got really intricate, this is not so intricate that a, that a 50 by 70 can't be done. When they get up in the, I don't know if you've seen like the ones that have the bookcases, and, you know, where it's like a library. Um, I don't know how to search the terms, but there's some in here that are very, very complex and there's a lot of detail to them. You'd want to go with a larger size. And I will show you an example of how to determine what size uh, to purchase of these to know whether they're going to be pixelated or not. There is a way to tell. Um, besides just looking at the mock-up even. Sometimes the mock-up's not even right, in my opinion. Um, anyway, so the, this one is the material pack. We talked about that. The ones that say material pack on them are the floss, right? And then this one is a larger design. It's 100. If we take 400 divided by 4, that's 100 centimeters by approximately 75, a little over 75. Um, that's actually uh, 79 by 316 to 79. So that's 100 by 79, right? So we know that that's a pretty large diamond painting. I chose this. Now, why did I choose this and not get the canvas? Because I, I did it from the chart. There was a reason for that. I was doing Crafting by Shay's um, Oz event. Um, I only got a few days notice of when the event was going to kick off. I didn't want to take the time to wait to get the canvas. I, normally I would have, but I didn't want to because I wanted to do the event. And because I was doing a heaven earth design, I knew I wanted to have, you know, more time to do it. They would take me a bit. Um, it took me 22 days to do this the way that I do it with my new method from beginning to end. And I did the mini design and I had the, the drills to do it. So I think I may have known three days before the event started. Something like that is when I saw the event was going to be starting. And I thought, well, I want to join in on that. Now, the reason that I chose a heaven or design for that was because I thought, oh my gosh, this is an Oz event. An Oz event? How many Oz diamond paintings are out there? <laughs> And I started looking at, you know, the common vendors that have Oz paintings. And you didn't have to actually do an Oz painting, but I wanted to do an Oz painting. I wanted to participate in the event with an Oz painting, right? So there's not that many out there. And I saw, you know, the yellow ones, the ones that were available in Diamond Art Club, and I thought, my gosh, there's going to be, you know, Cracky Mache has got a lot of viewers. There's going to be a lot of people doing those diamond paintings. The, em the Emerald Study one, um, there was a lot of people doing that diamond painting. I'm like... Do I want to be one of 20 people doing this design? And not that, it, that, that that isn't okay. It obviously is okay. You can do the design. I just wanted to have something a little more unique. So I thought, well, I'm going to go out and have buy, you know, I've done Heaven Earth designs. I'm comfortable with them. I thought, I'm going to do a Heaven Earth design. And can I do? And I, I, and I thought, you know, I had developed a new method that I told you about of doing Heaven Earth designs a new way. I thought, 
can I do that in a month? And I thought, yeah, I bet I can. If I find a 50 by 70 or so, even though normally in diamond painting terms, that size would take you a while to do. Um, uh, if you did it tradi the traditional way that you do um, heaven or designs using a blank canvas using the chart, the new way that I came up with, I was able to get it done in 22 days and it wasn't, I wasn't diamond painting every day, you know, hours and hours and hours to do it either. Um, so once we get to that, you'll understand more about that. But I just wanted to explain why I did the chart when a diamond painting was available for that off, um, off to see the wizard. I did it because Timing wise, I didn't I didn't want to wait the time to get the canvas and I had the knowledge and the process in place to be able to do that within that time period. So I decided to do it. I was curious whether, you know, could I finish it? Would I be able to finish it within the course of a month of a, of um of that event? I finished a week place. So I was really I was really happy over that. <laughs> anyway, okay, so um, the last thing, well not one one more thing I want to show you before we leave the site is I mentioned that um uh, I can help you determine, I'm just going to tease you with this a little bit, that I can help you determine whether a design is, um, uh, let me, how do I say that, that a design um, is it, it, going to be too pixelated. So I'm going to pull up a design, okay? This is called, this is another kind of diamond painting that you can do. We had the minis. We had the regular size diamond paintings that were the 400 range, you know, kind of a large diamond painting. Now, these are called story keeps. And they're a, they're a type of diamond painting like, like a mini is. A type of diamond painting smaller than a regular. Story keep is basically, think of it in terms of a bookmark, okay? Uh, and when I say bookmark, I mean bookmark. They're small, okay? This design, if you look at the size, this is how it's finished in cross stitch and what size it comes out in in cross stitch. It is one and three eighths inches wide. So it's not even two inches wide by eight inches long, about the size of a bookmark, right? Now, if you did a story keep and diamond painting, it's gonna be larger than that. Now, what did I tell you about the fabric count? If it says 25 count, that means basically there's 10 diamonds, to 25 stitches in an in inch, right? So you take 25 divided by 10, that's 2.5. That means 2.5 times the size. So it's approximately gonna be where this is one and three eighths. The width of what you finish in a diamond painting for this image is gonna be approximately three and a half inches wide. Now, look at the detail of that. Um, do you think in three and a half inches wide, you can get the detail of her arms, her face, whatever. I can't blow this up because they don't have a bigger ver version of it, but that's quite a, a detailed diamond painting. Not that it's extremely detailed, but three and a half inches, do you think you're gonna be able to get a good design out of that? Um, now, there is a way to tell that, and I'm, going, I'm just teasing you with this piece. Um, I blew up the design to see what it looked like at three and a half inches. If I take, I got a measuring tape right now with me. I've literally, when I put my measuring tape up to that on my display, now if you're on your phone, if you're in a computer, you know, wherever you are, it's gonna be a different size probably, but, it, but I'm looking at it and on my computer right now, that's three and a half inches, that left design, okay? That is a blow up of that, that particular picture, that image, right? That this is a blow up of this image. Okay. Now, this is a render is a rendering of this image. I rendered that in a piece of software to see, looking at the number of colors that are involved in that design. If you buy that design and what it will produce, I wanted to see what it might look like rendered because if I click on this. There is no image. I cannot click a mock-up. There's no mock-up available. So is that going to be a decent size for that or not? There's really not a good way to tell. It's just instinct at that point. You know, I say three and a half inches isn't probably going to be good enough to do the detail that you might want out of that. And it isn't. Um, because if you look at this, uh, I don't know, you know, if you're looking at this on a phone, you know, watching this video on the phone, you aren't going to see what I see. You're going to say, well, it looks about the same to me because you're seeing it really small. I'm seeing it at the size that this will come out if you were to do this design. Now, if I look at this, I, she has a headband on here, which is even a little, 
little grainy here with the way that that image is done but that won't even come out here you can't even see that headband and her arms they're just blobs her eyes I, I can see the blackness there but you don't see any discernment she doesn't have a nose <laughs> her nose is basically just a variation of colors there's no way I could tell that that is a nose um, so I went and choose this design to do so I'm going to show you how you uh, in later in the process and I just wanted to show this because of the example of knowing how to know if an image is going to be good now I will tell you when you get to the design size of a mini chances are that design is going to be pretty good um, you need to question some of the smaller ones in my opinion whether that mock-up looks like what it should look up uh, look like for that rendering um, I've done some of them and I've looked at them and I've questioned, you know, when I've, you know, looked at the image and I'm like, is that going to render right? And I've put it in my rendering software and I, I've like, hmm, I don't think that's going to come out really great. And you are spending a lot of time on these images. If I was doing a 65 by 80 design and I got to the face, you know, a lot of times the face is halfway down in the design. If you start top left or right and work your way down through a design, left, right, left, right, you know, which a lot of people do, and you got to the face a third of the way down and you're like 20 or 30 hours in to that design and you get to the face and you go, oh my God gosh that's pixelated I'd be so disappointed if that happened um, so there is a way that you can render these images for yourself to, to get a good idea of whether that design is going to turn out um, and you know when I say turn out my idea of turn out may be different than your idea of turn out in other words you know, you may look at something like, well, yeah, you have to step four or five feet back or eight feet back to see that design. I may look at it and say, oh, no, that's pixelated. And you might say, oh, no, I think it looks great. <laughs> For the time investment and what you want out of it, everyone's going to have a different expectation and be happy or not happy with different results. So it's very subjective to you of whether that design is going to work. But I can give you or help you by showing you a piece of software that's free um, that will help you to know if a design will render um, well or not and it's not that difficult to do uh, if you have basic computer skills you should be able to, to figure it out once I show you you should be able to mimic what I do um, so anyway so I just wanted to, to introduce that now I think we've spent enough time talking today <laughs> um, on this area I'm going to show you one last thing before we leave this site I'm going to go back to the Heaven Earth Designs main page. I'm going to go down to the newsletter. Okay. There is a newsletter you, you can subscribe to here at the bottom. Okay. If I click on newsletter at the bottom, I can put in my email address, my first name, and my last name and say subscribe to the list. Okay. When you do that, what you're going to get is you're going to get, you know, their newsletter, of course, but also you will get um, uh, if they're having a sale. Um, you'll get that notice that the sales on and you'll be able to go buy a chart a lot of times at half price and some of these charts are you know you saw some of the chart let's go out and look at some more charts let's go out and look at and pull up a Jasmine Beck and Griffith again um, I'm gonna just pick on this one and that charts nine dollars and fifty cents but there's charts when they're smaller images slightly smaller um, they can be like the 150s a lot of time. I'm looking for one that's that's a little bit smaller. Here's one. This 100 by 403, that might be a lower price. No, it's a 950, but there's going to be some that are their half price are going to be $6. There's going to be some that are even going to be a little smaller than that. And if the design's simple enough, that works too. There aren't a lot of really small designs, but there's some. Um, but a lot of the minis, when you see the, the word mini, like these are 450 by 559. I mean, these are kind of big. But if I go search for, like if I search for the term mini even on this site, if I search for mini and search minis, I'll get a ton of designs to show up. And, and it may not be that the, the, the design we're looking at is mini, but I bet if I pull, like there's a 700 by 695, that's a huge design. I'm going to pull up that design though. And the reason it's coming up is because there's a mini available in it. And that that term is in the design and I click on the mini and the mini's 325 by 323 a much more reasonable design still pretty large though um, but but you can click in and um, uh, 
and come out here and put some of the you know uh, look at the price decide what you want to buy if you are what you want to shop for as potential and put that in your wish list and then when you get that newsletter or an email from them saying that there's a sale go go back in and buy a can you know buy a design or two a chart or two you know so that you have something to work off of in the future you can get them for four or five or six or ten dollars um, and that's a really good price now if you are if you have a bunch of spare drills, that's a really good price because what I'm going to show you is a way to get your canvas cost down real low um, so that if you have a bunch of spare drills, you're going to be buying the design, have a real low canvas price, have spare drills that you can use, and you're going to be able to get these designs down to a much lower cost than even buying a normal diamond painting under that scenario. So that's what I'm working towards. And in addition, I'm just going to tease you with um, the next um, episode of what we have upcoming. When I say episode, <laughs> like it's a show. Um, the next um, part of the series of this Heaven Earth Design series that I'm doing. In the next video that I'm putting together after this one, I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be doing the traditional, I'm going to show you basically a blank canvas and I'm going to show you how you use the design to actually do the canvas, the basics of that. And then I'm going to go through, you know, the, the pros and the cons of doing it that way. And I'm going to show you the new method that I'm using and the journey that I went on to come up with the new method. So that you'll understand the traditional method of doing, using a blank canvas versus the method I've come up with. And you'll understand the differences between the two. So that if you decide you want to do a heaven earth design, maybe you want to use the new method that I have, that I've, um, that I've come up with. Um, I'm also going to give you the pros and cons. You know, I've gone out and I've done some research on heaven earth designs when people do them. Uh, and I'm not going to point to particular people um, other than... Uh, just people that have been successful at it um, versus there's a you know a lot of design a lot of people that have taken on these designs and had issues with them and then I'm going to lay out what potential you know um, issues you can have and how to overcome those issues and some of the new methods that I've come up with fix some of those issues such as um, you can really avoid the popping drill and the gapping situation with the new method that, that I've come up with that you can help not have that issue by having a better grid size basically that you're working with so that your drills are matched to your grid. Um, so anyway, so that's what we have upcoming in the next video. Um, so I'm going to wrap up the video here. And I want to thank you for watching. If you've watched to this point, do me a favor. Write a little comment if you don't mind. And I would appreciate it because, you know, I'm a new, I'm a new um, YouTuber. And um, I'm trying to learn what content you want. And I would appreciate a comment to tell me this is something you're interested in. Or, oh, no, Heaven Earth Design doesn't work for me at all. I'm just not even interested at all. If you could tell me. But if you could, put a... Put a um, uh, let's do a emoji of, I don't know, an angel or something. Um, either put the word angel in your comment um, or put angel emoji in your comment. And I will know that you've watched to the end of the video. And for those of you that are still here <laughs> from the very beginning and watched and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would, you know, you're part of my clan now. You made it all the way through this. I mean, we got pretty deep in the content. Um, I'm, I'm a detailed person and I go pretty deep into things. Um, and I'm, I'm, I do training. I do software training is one of my things. So um, I'm in IT. And if you've not seen my other videos, I do IT for my work. Um, so I work on computers all day and it's natural for me to dig down deep into things. But if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet and you've enjoyed this video or you've learned a few things in this video, I would so appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, building the channel content up and having subscribers is one, one way that you can give back to me. I'm trying to give to the Diamond Penny community by giving as much information out um, as possible so that I can share what I've learned. I, I mean, I don't know everything, but I've learned a bit in the last couple of years. And I thought, well, I'll put a channel together. I'll put some content out there. And um, we can all learn. And I, I want to become uh, uh, more in tune with the community. 
um, and I want to make more friends in the community. You know, I've made some really good friends by diamond painting, and I like the diamond painting crowd. They're my kind of people. I'm having a lot of fun diamond painting, and I just generally like the people that diamond paint. And um, so I would appreciate a comment and interaction with you. Um, but until next time, um, I'm just going to wrap it up by saying keep diamond painting between the lines. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening. Bye.